I'm Stephanie, I'm 32 weeks pregnant and I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes when I was five weeks. Gestational diabetes is the commonest medical disorder affecting pregnancy and in Australia affects approximately one in eight women during the time of their maternity. I have to keep control of my blood sugar, otherwise my baby could grow too big. On top of the added kind of things I'm thinking about being pregnant, I also have to think about monitoring my sugars and recording them so that I can show them to the medical people. Marta Mother's Hospital became involved in the Mother Project when we identified that we had such a large number of women that we were really struggling to cope in a traditional model of care for gestational diabetes. We reached out to CSIRO and partnered with them to use the Mother app, which has enabled us to shift the care of the woman from the hospital to their own place in a time that's convenient to them. The Mother platform is an mHealth platform to support the management of gestational diabetes. We use a person-facing app and a web-based platform for clinicians. The app links with a Bluetooth glucometer and the app talks to the web-based platform and then clinicians can review those blood sugars remotely. They can therefore make decisions on the care for the women and in many cases they can intervene quickly if there are um, issues or risks for the women with blood glucose levels that are out of control. We also measure other measures such as exercise, weight and then also stress and sleep. It uses notifications to the women so clinicians can actually send their messages um, through a portal and then advise them on the progress. When I was using the pen and paper method I would have to write down my numbers but now using the mother app my glucometer sends the numbers straight to the app so I don't have to worry about entering anything in and yeah, it's made my life a lot easier and it's made diabetes a lot easier because it's one less thing to think about. On average I have one appointment a week and that's actually quite a big burden to fit into my life. So with the app, if everything's going well, I don't have to go to those appointments as regularly. I don't have to worry about fitting that into my schedule or missing appointments or anything like that. So when I used to get a high number, I used to get very stressed out and I didn't know if I should um, get in contact with my team. And now um, using the app, they just receive my numbers. So if they see a number that's a bit high, it's up to them if they think I need any intervention or not. So I have a lot of peace of mind because it's not just up to me. Using the Mother app, we've been able to take the care and expertise provided by the Mother Mother's Hospital outside the walls of the hospital and into the woman's own home. It's much more efficient for the woman who is usually busy with jobs and childcare. And for the health practitioner, we've been able to really reduce the schedule of care to allow a more efficient management of hyperglycemia in pregnancy. Previously, before we had the app and COVID, we used to do group education for women. It used to take about two hours by the time we got all the equipment and got the women together. So it meant that they had to take more time off work. Now with the app, it's just a matter of them going through the education component and they can look up the information there. There's videos and booklets on all the information that they need. I think what's really exciting about this research is that it is really women focused. We're interested in hearing their stories and creating a platform that is user friendly and works with their lives and what they need as a woman, as a patient and as a mother. The Mother Solution was developed through co-design with Redland Hospital and we tested it for its feasibility with 40 women from Redland Hospital. We had really exceptional outcomes. We actually improved on the app by having it available in different languages. And we also added some of the content from different services. Up to date, more than 4,000 women have benefited from the solution. And we're also now going to run a randomized controlled trial with three major hospitals in Sydney. This is a really good way to, to monitor the disease and to provide the information to the clinicians so that they can provide the best care for patients. There's lots of challenges and barriers, of course, from uh, today's electronic medical records and, and existing systems, which are very expensive for a health system to implement, for making sure that the technical standards are in place so that the data can go from our phones to the, the electronic medical records safely and securely. Part of the benefit of digital health is that we can uh, increase health literacy across our population and that will actually take the pressure off our healthcare system. The more we have health literate people who, who are able to, to look after their own health uh, is both good for their own health and good for our health system. 